So now we have the dial gauge. This is again a marketplace uh, visualization and it has the hints page as well and updates on it, right? Let's see how is the sample built. So let the page load. If we have a look at it, it has city name that is Delhi. It has minimum, it has the maximum value. Last year's target is a target start and this one is a target end. If I select Delhi, it shows Delhi. If I select Bombay, it shows Bombay. And basis this, if I have to understand what is the table looking like, let's have a look at it. So minimum is 10,000, maximum 15,000, minimum is 10,000, maximum 16. Last year it was 20 and 30 and last year is a 10 and 40. Current year start is 30 because last year end is the current year start. Current year start it was 20, current year end is 40, current value is this, percentage is this, all right. All things are in place. Basis this if you want to make a gauge. Green band indicates complete range of the dial gauge. Green band. Okay, that is the complete range 500. Yellow band represents the target value. We don't see that yellow band yet. Red band indicates the actual value. These are the actual values 30 and 45. So if you are working with so many parameters and you would like to view it in a complicated way but a very um, minimalistic way of viewing the most of the content is this dial gauge. What are the hints they are presenting? Color indicated by red always displays actual value. Color indicated by yellow displays target value. Pointer displays any value. This will be conducted with typically the same instructions what we saw on the download page. This is kind of a little complex and not too helpful but you can always try to fit, fit this in if it fits your requirement. Let's move ahead. Going on to our dial gauge and then going back to another page. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. If sometimes it doesn't take you to the home page then or oh, it did take us. We are left with filters and analytics. Have a look at it and then we'll move on to the next one. Sometimes it doesn't load like I said. You would have to remember the URL appsource.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash marketplace slash apps. We don't want the apps. We want Power BI visuals and we are looking for different kinds of filters. The hierarchy size slicer can is a very unique um, used slicer. If you look at the number of people giving it a star rating a very high 228 another way of finalizing your requirement is that and rest things can be understood and made in that way. Let's quickly have a look at a hierarchy slicer and see how are the hierarchies been developed a very good way to slices basically are filters in your uh, dashboard canvas. Let's click on sample report and let's go ahead, let it load. Alia we are brilliant. Again, hint section very important before we close this sheet. Sometimes it is unable to import, we can close it. So this is the hierarchical slicer. If you compare it with a normal slicer, let me copy this, let me paste this. So I have two of them. Let me change this to a normal slicer given by the visualization. Let me copy this. Let me paste this. So that I have two of the filters for the current visualization. Now let's do a different thing. Let's convert this into a simple default slicer available in Power BI. Just have a look. What has it been transformed into? If you remove this, here you can have multiple columns, a type, a subtype, a sub subtype inside a slicer. Whereas in a default slicer, it is only a single column which will help you filter the content. So this is an advantage of a hierarchical slicer over a normal slicer. Another way a slicer or filter. Another advantage is in a normal business scenario, 
you would be working with a hierarchy of sales guys or some hierarchy of the management in that case if you want to like aggregate the sales done at a feet on the street person to his manager to his head in this scenario that that scenario fits very well with the hierarchical slicer let's see what are the features are available to us in the hierarchical slicer in this you see the fields column having product category its subcategory and finally the product so it forms a hierarchy going into the selection types you will see do you want a single selection on this or you want a multi select so when you say select single as off you have an option to select more than one at a time right that's single multi select that is on if you say single select on once you are off this you would see at any particular level if i select something the other will go off so the difference between a single select on and off is if you want only unique selections to be permitted on your slicer then you should go with single select however if you are okay with having more than one selections on the slicer then you can turn it off so in this way the unique radio button kind of a scenario converts into a checkbox moving on empty leaves leaves are the last set of the hierarchy so if you don't have a data corresponding to empty leaves do you still want to show it or no so if you make it in this case we do have values for all the leaves so it is present if you are okay with not showing the leaf having no data you can just hide so these are shown as blank values are hidden then do you want to have a select all option at the top or no so see this the first checkbox get opened up and by default it will select entire category subcategory and the product and what do you want to name it as everything you can rename it to something and that turns into everything so this is a way of renaming it a very handy options available to you and it has progressively added from only two fields such as select all and select single to empty leaves and select all labeling and this is ever increasing and optimizing way of doing things do you want slicer header per product single to be given on and you can change it as well do you want to refilter it or no the rest of the things are same for the items you can have a different colors if you want so selection color can be change to pink so whatever you select turns into pink a very very handy thing for people who are running short of time and want to select many things at once do you, you can increase the size of the visual so that you don't have to strain your eyes with the limited screen space available do you want to have a search option to be present there or no so if you say add to selection on and off so here you have an option to search right you can make it on or off now if you search b i k e and say enter it should give you some result but since it is off it will not so this is the search criteria what other things are here you have a usual spotlight feature if you want your uh, visual to be highlighted amongst all the visuals while you explain something currently in this scenario as i explain this product i can dim the screen around it and only highlight the screen i'm talking about it's for better visual capture if you want to remove this you can do it if you want to sort it by some alphabets you can still do that 44 38 mountain 100 okay if you want to export the contents you can still export it again it will show you an option to csv format where do you want to save it export is there show data if you want to see the data this is how the data is categorized this is what it is you can always click on back to report and it works fine right icon color is there 
uh, text size is there title you have your own title to be given you can do it with this let's now move towards the concluding area of slicers and all the visuals what we saw from the microplace just to sum it up before we see the conclusion before you get involved with any third party slicer please have a demo or download the sample pbix file check all the features of that visual along with the hint screen which is very important once you are sure about the fitment or requirement fitment in your system only then you import it directly by clicking on these three dots and import from marketplace a faster safer and easier way to do it and going forward then you use it in your own uh, dashboards let's have a look at the conclusion